Weather Rate Certified Most Accurate Forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. All right, Mike, Super Bowl Sunday, mm -hmm. Groundhog Day, probably the best weather we've had so far. It yeah. was so hot today. It was today. So 81 <laughs> degrees. You know, the high temperature down in Miami, 69. <laughs> It was hotter here than it was at the Super here. Bowl. That's wow. It. Hey, we're not complaining. The Chiefs won. That's all that's that right. counts. That's you know all what that matters. Mean? That's right. But look at our temperatures here over the next uh, week or so. And it's going to be a roller coaster. 70s continue tomorrow as well as Tuesday. And then the other shoe falls. Matter of fact, we dropped to 37 degrees on Wednesday. That is not a misprint. That is a huge change coming our way here and then slowly starting to work its way back up into the 60s and 70s by the end of the weekend. You bet our rain chances are there for the next couple of days. Just slight chances, but we could actually see a mix on Wednesday there. We are talking a mix, maybe a little rain, a little sleet, even some freezing rain. So stay tuned for that. It's still three days out. It could change, but right now it does appear it has its eyes right here on Central Texas. Our satellite and radar show mostly uh, cloudy skies moving into the central part of the state right now. The thing the cloud deck has been to our north, up around Wichita Falls, and then tailing down toward the San Angelo area. But again, mainly cloudy skies will be on tap, with temperatures at this hour in the 60s. Not looking too bad. 60 degrees in Waco, as well as Temple and Colleen. Temperatures may be just a tad cooler down toward the Brazos Valley, and temperature readings, as you can see there, in the upper 50s and lower 60s. Again, skies are partly to mostly cloudy. Quiet weather right now, but you know we are getting set for Severe weather season here over the next couple of months. And to check in on what we can expect, let's go over to meteorologist Emily Kay. Emily? Thanks, Mike. Absolutely. Severe weather season is right around the corner. It's never too early to start preparing. So when is it actually uh, most likely for us to see a lot of that severe weather moving through? And I've prepared some of these graphics for you just to explain it to you. Uh, April is usually our best month, uh, our best chance actually to see tornadoes, but May is really not too far behind. And then March and June as well, our usual uh, tornado season. But again, can't rule out seeing a tornado in January or February either. Best time of day to actually be weather aware is going to be right around dinner time. A lot of the times that's when we will see our best chance at seeing a tornado here in Central Texas, according to the National Weather Service. So make sure that you have a plan in place and always make sure that you have your weather radio turned on and programmed properly. But again, I will have more of that later on. But right now, Mike, I'm going to send that back to you to see if there's any severe weather coming up this week. And I'll tell you what, no severe weather expected. We are looking at pretty quiet conditions. And again, the clouds will thicken across our area tonight. So mostly cloudy skies tomorrow morning as you get ready for work or school with temperatures in the 50s. And then throughout the day on Wednesday, mostly cloudy. There could be a spotty shower here or there, but I think our best chances may be to our east and to our south. Temperatures should make it into the 70s for a while tomorrow. Back down into the upper 60s there by 5 o'clock. And again, another little line of some rain may try to move through overnight Monday into Tuesday. But I think on Tuesday as we start the day, another very warm day. Temperatures in the 70s, a slight chance of rain right out ahead of that front, and then as that front moves across our area, it starts to usher in some cooler air. So this is at 5 o'clock in the evening on Tuesday, and notice the precipitation now beginning to move in with that colder air. We will be talking about maybe the possibility by early in the morning on Wednesday of some very cold rain here in our area, but that rain could start to mix with a few sleet pellets or even some snowflakes. Even some freezing rain possible, too, as it uh, begins to pull out of here. Just depends on how those temperatures are. Temperatures are going to be very, very critical. But the day to watch is Wednesday right now. And by the end of the week, we're going to clear it out. Yeah, it's going to be cold to start on Thursday, but a lot of sunshine will be on the way. So your forecast in for tonight, increasing clouds. 53 degrees will be the low temperature. And then tomorrow, mostly cloudy, a few showers possible. It'll be mild with a high of 72 degrees. Take a look at the Louisiana Crab Shack 7-day forecast. Just a slight change. Chance of rain on Tuesday, but then as we hit Wednesday and Thursday, we are looking at temperatures for the most part uh, only going to be in the 30s for high with, with the mix, and then Thursday through the end of the week, look at that, temperatures back into the 60s and 70s and down toward Bryan and College Station. We are looking at 70s over the next couple of days. Again, Wednesday's the day to watch that we could possibly see that little rain, rain snow mix, maybe some sleet in there. Nothing will stick, no accumulation because we've been way too warm with the 80 degrees we had today and the 70s here. So again, no accumulation. And then you can see by the tail end of the week into the weekend, once again, it looks good with highs in the 60s and 70s. That is the very latest forecast. Back to you guys.